We're into the main event on the right with the shaved head looking a lot like Boss Rutten, only from Brazil. It's Hicks and Gracie, and there's Nobuhiko Takata, probably the most famous professional wrestler in Japan, Boss. Yes, he is. He came into the dojo in the uh, Beverly Hills Jiu-Jitsu Club, and I... I, I Takata did. Takata did. I, I can't say... I, I don't think he's going to win this fight. I mean, uh, against uh, an expert like Hicks and Gracie. There's uh, the national anthem for Brazil. Uh, yep. The Brazilian flag there, Hickson, uh, being from Rio de Janeiro. Hickson, known as maybe one of the greatest, if if not the top, jiu-jitsu fighters to ever come out of Brazil, got a legendary reputation on the streets of Brazil, has, a, has had a number of behind-doors matches with rivals, rivalries with the Luta Libre system. He... Uh, Fought Hugo Duarte twice, who's a really well-known Lucha Libre guy down there. Fought him to a draw on a beach until the cops came. Beat him on a closed-door match. Hickson has uh, won a number of uh, fights in Japan, most recently winning two eight-man tournaments, the Japan Valley Tudo 94, and that was on July 29, 1994, and then winning another eight-man tournament, uh, J Japan Valley Tudo 1995, and that was on April 20th, 1995. So I broke into the tournament circuit. Uh, the competition in those two tournaments wasn't the level of some of the people who have fought in the Ultimate Fighting Championship, but nonetheless, Hickson being 185 pounds, was able to institute his formidable jiu-jitsu skills. Yes, exactly right. I want to... I just want to see him fight like a top guy also, you know I mean? Well, Takata has really baited Hickson and tried to get Hickson into a match. She's singing the Japanese national anthem. There's the, the flag, the, the rising sun. Nobuhiko Takata is, let's say, as popular as Hulk Hogan would be in the United States on the pro wrestling circuit. He's a famous, famous pro wrestler in Japan. In, in his pro wrestling career, he's shown that he can, he can punch and kick and do leg locks, and, but that's all pro wrestling. It's all pro wrestling. But now we're seeing him anything. fight a real fight against a person some people feel is the greatest fighter in mixed martial arts, Hicks and Gracie. There's a hardcore contingency of Hickson supporters that feel that Hickson is the best. A number of people in Japan feel that Takata is the best. Now, Takata, one of his best friends, or formerly best friends, Yoji Anjo, Takata had challenged Hickson in the, in the, in the Japanese press year after year uh, and said, Hickson, come fight me. Hickson said no, he wouldn't fight it because he's a pro wrestler and it wouldn't look good. Yep. But now he accepts this fight. Evidently, they came across with enough money to bring Hickson over. Previously... Uh, Takata's friend, Yoji Anjo, went to Los Angeles to Hickson's studio with a film crew and news reporters challenged Hickson at his own studio. Hickson put a merciless beating on Anjo oh, yeah. behind closed doors. And, and one of his home video people videotaped it. I know people that have seen the site. People know that Hickson Gracie like him or hate him, has got killer instincts. Oh, for sure. Hey, listen, I'm not going to say anything. He's phenomenal in submissions. It's a stand-up striking, actually, I don't... He has none. But the striking he does in the ground looks real solid. He's got power. And what you said, he's got the hunger. And why wouldn't Hickson take this fight against... You're, thinking, you're talking money here. You're talking fame. And anybody that's seen this guy's pro wrestling fights, it's pretty impressive... But the question remains, can Nobuhiko Takata make his mixed martial arts debut against, of all people, Hicks and Gracie, who hoists Gracie, who won three UFC titles, says is ten times better than him? Chances are good he's not going to win. I, I, I really don't see it, but um, hey, we have to wait and see. You never know. He's got to catch him with the right straight or something like that before the takedown. 
I like Hicks and Gracie. I think Hicks and Gracie is a class act. I think Hicks and Gracie's got phenomenal economy in what he does. But we're going to see here jiu-jitsu versus pro wrestling in its purest form. Hickson almost looking like a robot. He's got that stomp kick. Like a uh, Yul Brenner in that movie in that... Uh, the King and I? No, uh, when he... Uh, oh, you're talking about West, Westworld. Yeah, Westworld. He looks like him uh, kind of bit, huh? Yeah, he does. Good thing he doesn't have the six-shooter. Takata circling to his right, wondering if Takata, Takata punches, Hickson's going to shoot in. If Takata kicks, Hickson's going to grab the leg. Hickson... Moving forward, wanting the clinch, wanting to cut it to throw a strike so it can clinch up, take it to the ground. Takata should throw a high kick. Just if he's going to go to the ground, just throw a high I, kick. I would say the same thing. Throw a high I'm kick. Just throw thinking right. of it, man. Just if he's if he starts circling to he's the not left. Running away. He starts running away. But Hicks is not running after him. Hicks is playing the mind game. There really is no mind game because Takata needs to. Show Hickson he's better than he is. I'll tell you one thing, Hickson's focused in this fight. That is the look of focus, boss. Oh no, he's always focused. That that's what I said. Once it's on the ground, his striking on the ground is solid. There's a low kick. It didn't really land on the thigh, it was down below by the calf. It didn't even affect Hickson. But the 45,000 people thought it did. <laughs> well, those 40, here in my ears. You better believe those 45,000 people want Takata to win. They want to Hickson, the legend, the man who is known above all others as to epitomize what jiu-jitsu is. They want their pro wrestling champion to beat him. Hickson's got other ideas, though. Hickson coming in with a jab and that stomp kick. Hickson getting, hey. getting almost a body lock. Uh, <laughs> Takata keeping him out, out, out at bay with the underhook. Takata hang on to the rope. Hickson's got the leg. They better not break him. Uh, Hickson can't be happy with that. He had the leg. The takedown was imminent. Hickson cannot be happy with that. No, that wasn't fair. I, 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 don't, th I, don't, think, I don't think that. I don't think it matters to Hickson. I think Hickson knows it's going to go to the ground. Hickson's undefeated. The, the claim is, I, and I, don't, I, I haven't seen any videotape or, or statistics or newspaper articles to substantiate this, but the claim is that Hickson has got 400 victories and no losses. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful even number also. But, oh, here we go. We're on the ground. Takata is not giving up the takedown. Takata with a knee. Bad position. Beautiful nice. tight take double takedown body slam. Hickson did it. Hickson's oh. got the mount, boss. It's a matter of time. Very nice. Nice takedown. Worst case scenario has just unfolded for Takata. He got taken down by a beautiful double leg takedown by Hickson Gracie. Turned into a body slam. Yeah. Textbook. Cross facing there with the with the right hand in front of Takata. Takata in a bad position. As soon as those oh, hands. Look at this. Got, as soon as those arms got unlocked behind Hickson, Hickson grind away. Oh, Hickson's going to go for the arm bar. It must. This is like, please. This is finally I see somebody using the cross face. You know, I always see these people in position and they keep holding. I say, cross face the guy. Cross. He's good. Good body shots, you see? That's what I'm saying. The, the body shots he gives and the shots in the head are solid. He, uh, for some reason on the ground, he's got good striking skills. I'll tell you one thing. Out of all the fights we've seen tonight, Hicks and Gracie has got the most economy, the best technique, and the best strategy. That's it. I think he, so far, pound for pound, of this fight card is the superior fighter, and he's really instituting that here against Nobuhiko Takata. He played his game. Takata doesn't seem to have a clue here. His, his footwork, he should have his feet planted on the ground. He should be sliding his elbows against Hicks's knee get Hickson sitting over his hips and try and buck him or try to go out the back door. He doesn't seem to have the facility, boss. No, not any skill, because everybody knows if you sit in a position like this and you stay in it, it's real stupid. You have to and try to escape the mount. Oh, here we go. He's going to go for armbar. There it is. There we go. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Takata's got the hands locked. Takata taps out. That was a quick one, folks. That was a quick one. Hickson Gracie continues... 
his undefeated streak with an armbar victory over the most famous pro wrestler in Japan, Nobuhiko Takada. Beautiful armbar, but man, I saw it coming 20 seconds before this. Takada should uh, work a little bit more on submissions, I guess. I'll tell you though, Hickson did what he had to do. I don't think in his mind he wanted to fight Takata being a pro wrestler because of the implications. But nonetheless, he fought him, took him down, mounted him, grounded and pounded. Takata bridged, posted the arms. There's Yoji Anjo, the man who Hickson beat down in the studio, yep. trying to comfort uh, uh, Takata. No, he, 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 he did what he had to do. Hicks he came in, yeah. Yeah, exactly like you said, some good striking, good setup, boom, boom, go for the armbar, nice armbar. The technique was perfect. Yep. The strategy was perfect. Uh, I think he knew that Hickson, I mean, that, that Takata really was going to fold because, after all, experience counts for so much, boss. Ooh.